From the Home menu, hover over Setup and wait for the drop-down menu to appear. Click on Rooms and Rates. Click on Add a New Room and you will be redirected to the below screen. Enter the name of the room type, example Superior Room. Tick this box so that the room will display on your website and be available to connect to the distribution channels. If you only want to use this room internally, then leave this box unticked. Enter the number of actual rooms you will have for this room type, for example, 3 by Superior Room. Room Names Enter the names, or numbers, of each apartment. This is how you will tell them apart when allocating. Ideally, this name should be the same as on the door of each particular room. The name you enter here is for your internal use only and is not seen on any websites. Room Configuration. Select the option that best describes this room type, for example, one bedroom. Link Availability. Use the Link Availability option if you wish this room to automatically take the availability away from another room that is already set up. Enter the maximum number of guests that can be accommodated in that room type. Enter a description of the room. Enter the bedding configuration. This could be two single beds and a fold-out bed. If a particular bedding configuration attracts an additional cost, you can also enter this amount and select if this cost is per night or per booking. You can add more than one bedding configuration, so you will need to set up the default configuration for each room type. Set the rate type, either daily or seasonal. We suggest that you always set this to daily to allow you to easily adjust and distribute your rates. Enter the number of guests that the rate includes. For example, your rate may include two guests and then additional guests pay an extra charge up to the maximum number of guests the room holds. Enter the default rate for this room. You will have the option later to change these depending on the time of the year, so we suggest you enter the most common rate you'll sell this room for. Enter the amount you charge for extra adults. If your room takes a maximum of three guests, and the rate you set included two guests, then this extra charge will be added to your normal rate if three guests book. Enter the amount you charge for extra children. If you would like this room to be included in last minute specials, click this box. And 17. If you do not allow infants or children, tick these boxes. Once you click Save, you will be redirected back to the list of rooms and rates. Now that you have created the room, you will need to edit the daily rates. To do this, click on the Edit Daily Rates link. To set up rates, click on Edit Daily Rates. The screen below will load. Click on Add Rate to bring up the standard nightly rate box. Enter the minimum number of nights that you would like to set for this rate. This box will display the default rate that you entered into Rate Setup when setting up the room type. You can type over this rate and enter any value. Click Create Rate. The rate you have just created will then appear. See below. To create additional rates, simply repeat steps 2 to 5. To edit particular days of the week, click on a day that has a rate in it. The Edit Date Range window will pop up. Enter the date range you wish this change to take effect for. Enter the new rate. Click on the days of the week you want to change. For example, you could increase the rate for weekends for the whole year. Click on Save Rates to save your changes. If you make a mistake, you can click on Return to Standard, which will reload your defaults. Once you have saved your changes, the new rates will be displayed for the days and dates you selected. You can enable or disable stop cells just as easily. First, click on a date with a tick or cross on it. The Edit Date Range pop-up will appear. Enter the date range you wish the changes to take effect for. Enter the particular days of the week you wish to change. Either click on Enable Dates to allow these dates to be booked, 
or disable dates to stop sell these dates so that the guests cannot book this rate plan. You will notice that your changes now show for the rate plan you were editing. You can choose to edit other rooms by clicking on the drop-down list.